In this video, we're going to find the derivative of the square root of x by using the definition of the derivative. So let's go ahead and just remember what the definition is. I always like to write it out at the beginning of a problem. So we have the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. Okay, and all we're going to do is plug in uh, these values into the function. So this will be the limit as h approaches 0 of the square root of x plus h. So I plugged in x plus h into the function minus the square root of x, just the function itself all divided by h. Okay, now this is a limit we can solve. Uh, we've done these types of limits before. If you don't know how to solve this limit, there should be a link to a previous video I've done that explains exactly how to solve a limit like this. Um, just to start, if, if we tried to plug in 0, 0 in for h, we would end up getting 0 over 0. So we can't do that, we have to simplify first. So to simplify, uh, I'm going to multiply by the conjugate of the numerator. What a mouthful that is. But that just simply means we're going to multiply by x plus h plus the square root of x. So we change that minus sign to a plus sign. Um, and that's really going to help simplify things. But we can't just multiply by that. We also have to divide by it because otherwise we're changing the problem. Or in other words, we can only ever multiply by 1. So by dividing, we're, we're now multiplying by 1. This whole thing is the same as 1. Okay, anyways, watch the other video to get some idea where this came from and, and how it helps us simplify. But we're just going to go through, go through with this here. So the numerator simplifies really nicely. It simplifies to x plus h minus x. So if you remember the difference of squares, you, you maybe can see where that comes from. This is really uh, this squared minus this squared. Um, and that happens when you multiply conjugates. Divided by h times the square root of x plus h plus the square root of x. Okay, well, a couple of things happen that are really nice right in this step. We have a, a x and a minus x, so those go away. They cancel. And then we have this h in the numerator and an h in the denominator. Well, those can divide out. And let's just see what we're left with here. This is the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 divided by the square root of x plus h plus the square root of x. And now we're at a point where we can plug that 0 in for h. So let's go ahead and do that. So 1 divided by the square root of x plus the square root of x which is just equal to 1 divided by 2 times the square root of x. Okay, so that's the derivative. That is the derivative of the square root of x. Um, and we're really less than halfway done with the problem. Um, if this were a test, we'd be 100% done. You'd have the answer. You've done the algebra. Um, and the simplifying to get to that answer. But the most important part is understanding that answer. What does all this mean? <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's go ahead and, and try and get some understanding. Here is a graph of the function, the square root of x, and its derivative. So this is the square root of x here. And in green, we have its derivative. 
1 over 2 times the square root of x. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think I got something in my throat. Um, so, what, what, what can we say about what's happening here? Well, the derivative, the values of the derivative tell us the slope of the tangent line to the original function. So let's do an example. If we pick um, 1, so when x is 1, and we look at the original function, and we look at the tangent line, specifically we look at the tangent line to the original function at that x value. So here's that tangent line. If we want to know the slope of this tangent line, all we do is we use the same x value and we just find the derivative and this derivative, here sorry let me get that out of there. The derivative, tell, the value of the derivative there is one half. So that tells us the slope of this tangent line is one half. Cool. Okay, uh, let's do another example. Let's say x is 4. Well then, all we have to do is uh, go up to the function. We can draw in the tangent line here. And now we want to know the slope of that tangent line. Well, we look at the derivative when x is 4. And whatever this value is here, that's the slope of the tangent line. And we can figure it out. Let's plug 4 into the derivative. So it's 1 divided by 2 times the square root of 4, which is just 1 divided by 2 times 2, which of course is 1 fourth. <clears throat> so this must be 1 fourth here. So the slope of the tangent line to the original function when x is 4 is 1 fourth. Okay, so I hope you're, you're seeing how this, this works here. Um, and, and, and that's it. That's, that's all there, there is to this. Um, but keep in mind that, that the, the relationship between a function and its, and its derivative is really important and you should really start um, trying to stretch your mind ar around this relationship and making sure that you really have a good understanding of it. Um, see you in the next video.